Hi guys, I got a new Ascension message. I got a new Ascension message. Before we get into the Ascension message, for those that are new to my channel, Ascension messages are extracted from Ascension codes using Gematria. Ascension codes are short messages that people receive from their dreams, meditations, sometimes even visions, or otherwise. They sent these Ascension codes to me and I look up the phrases with the same Gematria value and translate it to a message. If you want your Ascension code translated, send it to my email address, boreancalling at gmail.com. Remember to add the backstory and let us know how you got the code. Don't be afraid to be as detailed as possible. Now that we got that out of the way, I want to welcome, I want to welcome my new subscribers. I'm getting new subscribers every day. Thank you guys for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, remember to go to the Berean Calling landing page and hit the big red subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Let's just, uh, let's just get into the code. I got this code from Luke Skywalk, and it's not really his name, of course. That is his alias. And <clears throat> the code, the code is the Cosmic Love Calculator. The Cosmic Love Calculator. Yeah, and he sent us, he sent us the backstory, and let's just get into that right now. It goes a little something like this. The Cosmic Love Calculator is a 5D invention, just one button, and you ask it in any situation. Is this coming from love or fear? And the Cosmic Love Calculator gives us the answer. Fear is a mason's way to control us, and love is something understanding, open, and true. I have been onto the masons for a while, and your messages about them was just confirmation. I don't know if there's a message you can translate, the Cosmic Love Calculator. Bring down the Saturn Matrix with truth, love, wins yeah well well luke skywalk <laughs> i could of course extract a message from it and it's a pretty intense one so uh let's just let's just get into that right now the holy spirit speaks telling the truth is a moral absolute confront your dark side the reality of other realities is real change happens because of you we all change for the better. So <laughs> that was the first bit. So and uh, right off the bat, it, it starts with saying the Holy Spirit speaks. And that's how I considered uh, the rest of the message, because it's uh, like I said before, it's a pretty intense one. Telling the truth is a moral absolute. Confront your dark side because it can get a bit ugly. If, if you don't um, look, look at your dark side, you know, people tend, because that's how we're wired, people tend to always uh, see their own good in, uh, in, all, in all kinds of conflicts and also in personal situations. And sometimes you need to tell yourself the truth. And that's the, the thing that's confronting about, about telling the truth, because um, for some people, it's pretty hard to be honest to themselves, you know? So the reality of other, other realities is real. Talking about, talking about uh, um, other dimensions and other planes of existence. So change happens because of you. We all change for the better. Let's just continue. A new dream has been established. Boundless joy to be part of the whole. Austin, so Tao Sin, is an incarnated angel. Tao Sin is a Lysabethian. So, so Austin means Tao Sin and Lysabethian means elect tribes or Lisbeth's elect. So Austin is a Lysabethian. Yeah. We are all the Metatron, the host with the most. So I'm just going to stop here for a bit because in this way of using the word the host, it means a multitude. So a multitude of people. So the host with the most, we are all. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to go back a little bit and then Backtrack. Uh, we are all the Metatron. The host with the most has many huge guardian angels. Obtains superpowers. The power to change the world. Divine intuition from God. So now let's go back. <laughs> let's go back a little bit. We are all the Metatron. So what it's talking about here, the host with the most, is um, it's talking about uh, when we get into unity consciousness, so the Christ consciousness, we are all some form of uh, angel. That's what it says. Uh, uh, 
the host with the most. So when, when we get into the unity consciousness, you know, the host with the most, when we get into the uh, unity consciousness, consciousness with a multitude, um, we, we obtain superpowers, you know, the power to change the world. Because if you look at it, if you think about it, um, you know, who has, who has the power to save the world? Who has the power to save the world? It's not one man. It's not just one man. No, it's all of us, you know? It's all of us. We have the power to change the world. And that's, that's, what, uh, that's what, it, what it all means, you know? Once, you attain, once we obtain the unity consciousness, we have the power to change the world. Divine intuition from God. Okay, let's just continue this. The seven thunders unsealed. The seven seals are the chakras. The seven spirits of God. I have to believe they are magic. God's eternal protection. So, it's talking about the seven chakras being, uh, being the seven seals. The seven spirits of God. And, you know, and, and I think also that this whole journey has, to, has been um, for us to believe believe more in in our own powers and our own um and like the magic of 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 creation and the magic of just being just being here you know and uh i think the the perversion comes in when when they copy when they copy our world so the magic of our world and tell us that it's not magic at all tell us that it's just you know uh, some sort of evolution, you know, and that is taking the magic out of it. And we have to, we, we have to believe it's magic because we are, we are all, we are all sentient beings. You know, we are all, we are all emanations of light. You know, we have, I have to be, believe they are magic. God's eternal protection. Let's just continue. The Holy Spirit is a female. Sophia, goddess of wisdom, the woman of the stars. She is the ultimate holiness, God's hand of heavenly faith, holy bride of the great tribulation. She brought forth a man-child, holy ghost, man's mother. Man love the holy mom. Jesus is the son of death. <laughs> and I'm just going to st stop at the last bit because... Uh, there are a lot of misinterpretations that can happen from, from reading something like that. Jesus is the son of death. But if you take into account that the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is death because it is, you know, and death is not a bad thing. You know, I don't, I don't think we should uh, celebrate uh, death, like, you know, be, be happy that somebody dies or that death happens. But, you have to see it as uh, a necessary process because if if you want to, and, and I'm not talking about the death of people because it's it's just a cycle. So life is a cycle, uh, life and death is a cycle of life and death, and and the same thing happens in the, in in a grander scale, in 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 realities. So realities get created, but realities also die, you know, and you know. There's, that's, that's the whole, that's the whole concept of the alpha and the omega. So you can think uh, about the worst when you see that, when you see that uh, value, Jesus is the son of death, death, but you can also uh, think logically because it's talking about the Holy Spirit here being, being the mother of the man child and Jesus is, is all of us, you know, it's all, it's the entire humanity, you know, Jesus is the son of death. Goddess Kali, this is not an evil goddess. You know, you can ask anyone. You can ask anyone. Kali is not an evil goddess, but she is the goddess of death. You know, and I'll show you a couple of pictures of Kali here. Because Kali, Kali is the Holy Spirit, guys. You know, it's also a goddess. And it's the goddess of death. And it's not <clears throat> about... Uh, death, because Kali comes from the Sanskrit root word Kal, which means time. There's nothing that escapes the all-consuming march of time. So, and there are a lot of uh, a lot of other uh, stories behind Kali, 
So, and I urge you, I urge you uh, to research because uh, uh, Kali wears a garland of, sc of skulls. She has all skulls uh, and dismembered arms, you know, on, that's what she's wearing. <laughs> and it sounds really gory. So, and, uh, but it's, it's, um, in truth, we are beings of spirit and, and not of flesh. So, and liberation can only proceed when our attachment to the body ends. So, and, and that's what Kali really represents. And it's not, it's not actually uh, uh, something evil, you know, it's a good goddess. And I think I've shown you uh, enough pictures and yeah, you can just research that on your own and you will come to find that it will be the same personification as the Holy Spirit, you know? So let's just, uh, let's just continue. All of the cannibals and blood drinkers are going to get erased from the end of the world. They sing about their sickness. The spirit knows their abominable principles. Ignorance is the mother of all evil. Don't sacrifice babies to Molech. So, and, and this bit, it's, this bit, uh, is, it's about to go in. It's, uh, that's, it's just crazy. Kenites are the sons of Cain. Their executions are going to be ironic. Oxidation of the age of iron. So, <laughs> This is crazy. This is insane because the Kenites, the Kenites, um, the sons, the the sons of Cain, uh, historically, the Kenites historically are iron iron workers. So coppersmith, coppersmiths, and meth, metal. The Kenites were coppersmiths and metal workers, and uh, that that's what makes those values. Uh, absolutely insane let, let, let's just <laughs> try to go back and and look at that again so the kenites are the sons of cain their executions are going to be ironic oxidation of the age of iron so and the age of iron is, is uh, succeeded by the age of gold so uh, their executions are going to be ironic <laughs> Oxidation of the age of iron is crazy, man. Zeus breaks Satan's chains. They are all going to eternally die. All the elite are Satanists making a heartless world. They are all demiurgic minds. The illusionary host, Yahweh, is defe defeated. The conjurer, unmasked. The host of the mutation. The manifestation of Satan. I'm just going to stop here. Uh, because it it goes in uh, to the host again, and <laughs> it's so crazy. This message it's using all the, the ev almost every way you can use the word host, and so the elite, <laughs> the elite are Satanists making a heartless world. They are all demiurgic minds. The illusionary hosts. So the illusionary hosts. So then that's talking about the, the, <laughs> the illusionary host, the illusionary Lord of hosts. And that's the one that's referring to, to possession. And Yahweh is defeated, the conjurer unmasked, the host of the mutation. And that is, uh, <laughs> it's, it's so insane. It's turning you inside out because you're, the kingdom, the kingdom is normally, it's, it, it is within you, you know, the kingdom is within you and the host to possess you yeah it's taking you out of your internal uh, <laughs> internal kingdom and putting you in a, in a kingdom outside you know you uh, turning your 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 gaze outwardly and thereby you know at the same time possessing you because taking control of your body because you're not in control of your kingdom anymore it's it's just crazy so the conjure a mess the host of the mutation and that mutation is the mutation is the outside kingdom you know so the host of the mutation so they introduced they introduced the mutation to us you know what i mean yahweh introduced the mutation to us the outside world the outside god yeah? the manifestation of satan superiority complex superiority complex satan our master accuser should not ex should not attack zeus so when it's talking about zeus 
uh, it's talking about all of us because Zeus is uh, us in the, in the macrocosmos. That's how you should view it. Yeah? We are uh, uh, the Zeus of this realm. Yeah? Satan deals fraudulently out of envy, insane jealousy, the bonfire of vanities. Yeah, it's crazy. Let's just continue. The wise rule the stars and they will prophesy divine mathematical formula revealing number sequence. Talking about, uh, yeah, talking about Gematria here. The 50 gates of wisdom, the word of God's alphabet. So the word of God's alphabet and then, and the word were made, and the words were made flesh. So the word of God's alphabet. And the words were made flesh. So, and the word is God. So, and God in the flesh is, yeah, us, all of us, you know. Rejoice, rejoice and be glad as children of God. You're my everything. I believe in all of you. It's all about love, people. We all need loving kindness. The true God is a God of love. True love conquers all. Yeah. This was... Um, <laughs> yeah amazing message amazing message thanks a lot for sending this in luke skywalk thanks a lot for sharing your invention with us if any of you wants your sensi code translated remember to send it to my email address boreancalling at gmail.com if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be kept up to date to my messages in the future let me know what you think of this in the comments, guys, and I'll talk to you guys later.